Let me walk you through a scenario which is very realistic for so many people and it may be realistic for you as well. You wake up, beginning of the day, you go to school, you get back from school or work and you have more work to do from that school or work, you know, homework for example. Then you have transportation taking up a bunch of your time throughout that day until you get home or, you know, driving wherever you got to go. That takes up another hour, let's say. Then you have to eat and that takes up even more time. Already with these few things, which are things that are all inevitable for us, right? We're all going to do these things throughout the day. Every single time we do this, we are exhausted. And this happens to be what we do in the weekday. That's why so many people look forward to the weekend. It's because they have freedom from this. They don't have to do that anymore. The weekend is so free and so fulfilling because you can live however you want to live. There's no really schedule for most of us, right? Or it's a very, it's a very limited schedule. We don't have to go to school for eight hours or go to work for eight hours or anything like that. We can do what we want to do. So how to make the weekends actually longer? You need to get successful, bro. You need to get successful. How do you get successful? How do you have, you know, financial independence? How do you get freedom financially? Because that ultimately, that question, answering that question, that's going to lead you to having a weekend basically every single day. Because you are not going to be bound by going to school or going to work for eight hours. You are going to be working on your own terms. The reason that I'm talking about you know, having an actual goal is because you need to have a goal. You need to identify one in order to get to that stage, in order to get to the point where you are living a weekend every single day. Now, there's five categories that your goal should be able to fulfill, and it, it should probably be more than just one goal, right? It could probably be a few in order to go over these five categories. Number one is financially. You should be getting some sort of financial benefit from your goal because that is ultimately going to set up your financial freedom. Therefore, it makes you free. Okay. And just obviously having some sort of wealth, some sort of financial stability, it makes you more comfortable in life and definitely relieves a good amount of stress. Number two, a spiritual life. Coming from my experience, having a relationship with God is the most important, the most important change I've ever made in my life. And it's not even close. Like that that's number one. That's 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 what this should have been. Spiritual life, right? I was just blanking on it. But spiritual life is the most important thing. So try and get better in that sense as well with whatever goal you have or one of your goals. Spiritual life so important, doesn't just set you up for your earthly time, but more importantly, sets up your eternal time with God. Having a relationship with him hundred percent, it is key. Okay, and it only takes a short amount of time. You can just pray for five minutes. You could literally be praying while watching this video, just talking to God briefly. You could be talking while you're on a walk. You could be talking whenever to God because he is omnipotent. He is wherever you go. Okay, so those two things right there. Number three, relationships. Your goal could basically serve as a way to gain relationships, gain friends, you know, find some sort of love, you could, you know, make a, make a relationship that you have right now a bit better by checking in with them. So this goal could be something like, you know, call three friends a day or talk to five new people every single day, something like that. It doesn't have to be too big to start out with. It could just be a very small thing. Uh, number four is health and fitness and, you know, overall like longevity and, and all of that. Because if you have all these other things and, you know, you're, you're not healthy at all, your energy is going to be decreased, you're, you're not going to be energized at all to do the things that you want to do. And if you're not healthy, you're not going to live that long, you're not going to be able to live this life that long, you're not going to be able to, you know, reap the benefits of your hard work that you were able to do, because you are not healthy enough to actually enjoy them. The fifth thing, and it's ironic because I literally just forgot, there, there were five things though, but Let's just go, oh, yeah, number five is obviously do something that makes you happy. Do something that's fulfilling, something that you enjoy doing overall, right? It could just be like some sort of fun activity. Your goal could be like, you know, go out with friends every bit. And the great thing with that is that now that's also helping relationships as well. So hopefully you're getting uh, that happiness in all of these uh, four goals. I think that's why 
remember that after the fifth goal of being happy with what you're doing, it should tie into these other four categories of benefits that you should be getting from this goal, okay? So it doesn't need to be one goal that completes all four of these things. You could be having, let's say, two or three. For me personally, in this rule that I follow, the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of the benefits that I want from life come from about 20% of the activities that I used to do. Now, what are these activities? Number one, spiritual development, right? Automatically, that increases the benefits with the spiritual growth for, you know, the goal, right? Because that was one of my goals. It makes me happy and, like, satisfied and very, very, very fulfilled. And aside from that, I'm getting a relationship with God, which is so much more than you could even comprehend. It's a whole bunch of videos on its own, right? So that'll be, you know, other topic, other video, I made videos on stuff like that. The other thing though, one of my other focuses is obviously YouTube, right? This can provide for me in many ways. Number one, fulfillment and happiness because I know and the reason that I started YouTube was to help other people. It's the greatest feeling for me. Basically helping other people is like selfish almost. I love seeing comments of people saying, I just did this and this because of your video. I got inspired to do this. I changed my life because of this. That is the best feeling I've, I could ever imagine. That is amazing. Seeing other people do well, that is amazing. So from making these videos and from seeing people positively review it and you know gain uh, a positive effect from it, that's super meaningful to me and it makes me very happy. Also, just creating content in the first place. Like, I honestly, like, I'm still getting used to talking to the camera. You probably don't even know how many times I've messed up. I've been doing pretty good this video, though. But I'm pretty bad at talking to a camera. I'm pretty good at talking to people, but camera is a whole different thing. So, it's, it's kind of fun, you know, getting used to that challenge and overcoming it. So, it's, it's definitely fun to make the videos. I'd say that for sure. It also helps me financially, okay? Because eventually I'm gonna be making money from it, likewise, right? You know, as long as I stay with it, uh, it'd be a shame if I, you know, don't, but that's not gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna keep making videos, gonna keep making better videos, and eventually I'll be making some money from it, right? Hopefully enough, and I'll also make like different sectors, and I'll be making separate businesses to help funnel even more income, right? With like affiliate marketing, for example, or, you know, sponsorships, uh, in Google AdSense, but it's going to provide for me financially, so I'm getting that. I'm trying to think of the other things. Oh yeah, health, right? I'm basically increasing my health because with increased income, I'm able to buy better high quality food, right? I'm better, I'm able to better, uh, see, this is where I mess up with my words, right? I am better able to have a sleep schedule that's consistent, right? Because right now with school, because I'm broke, I can't, you know, drop out of school, plus I'm in high school, I would not be allowed to anyway. But if I were making money, and I'm out of school, right, I can go to bed pretty much whenever, and I can wake up whenever. And sleep is a huge part of health, like one of the biggest parts of health. So I'm able to do that. The list goes on, right? So that compensates for many of these things. Also, I could even say spiritual, spiritual growth as well, because some of these videos I teach about God, and teaching about God is a very good and important thing to do, right? Because from my perspective, if I believe in God, it'd be a shame not to tell other people. So that's a great one where I'm basically getting every single benefit and, and or benefit of the goal, each, each of these five from YouTube. So it's very, very useful to do that. That is why I put a lot of focus into YouTube. And for the fitness one, you know, I've done videos like 200 push-ups. That's gotten me fit, right? That's gotten me better and all that now the last one uh basketball overall happiness don't have to say much on that you know if you play a sport or if you know go to the gym something like that you know it, it's very fun right playing a sport is very fun i love working out too to get myself better at basketball uh and then overall fitness and health you know helps with your heart health helps with helps with you know strength all this kind of stuff you get the point as long as your goals are fulfilling these five things then you are able to measure your success. You are able to measure your growth. But the thing that's so bad, basically, is when you're not able to measure your growth, when you're just living, you know, school, homework, do some sort of fun activity, uh, you know, go on my phone, 
you're not able to measure your growth because there's nothing to really grow in. There's nothing to grow in. And at highest, at best, you know, you can get an A plus in school. But what do you want for that? A pat on the back? That's not going to get you anywhere. And you're also not going to get, it's not possible to get to an A plus plus, right? But with things like this, with measuring your goal, there really is no end. You can always seek better. And it's just more fun to keep beating it out, to keep passing your expectations of yourself. And again, you're being fulfilled by all five of the things. While as with the grades or with school, I wouldn't say that that's very fulfilling at all for anyone, especially you watching this video. If you're watching this video, you probably, you have a good sense of that, I'd say. You'd have a good sense that school isn't, you know, it's, and I have a video that might even be out by now, or maybe it'll, it'll be out soon about why school is, you know, all kind of, it's, it's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. Okay. Sure. But it's not going to help you compared to where you want to be as a self-improvement enthusiast. All right. So having these five things, having these five benefits and then figuring out your goal, identifying your goals, that's very important because you can measure your growth. And when you can measure your growth, you're going to feel more fulfilled. You can go to bed at night being like, I just got so much better in this category, or I got better in that category. I'm that much closer to this goal. And that's the best feeling that, I mean, I've already said best feeling of whatever I was saying before, but there's so many good feelings with all of this. That's the great thing. You go for goals. You actually have some sort of incentive for your life. You have a purpose driven life and you're going to have every single feeling is going to be great. You're going to be a lot more fulfilled in every single area. So I say, oh, that is the best feeling. It's because it is. But there's like 50 different best feelings. Okay? So, and that's why I'm so passionate about making these videos, right? I learned about this myself. And I'm like, how could I withdraw this information or not tell someone about it? I know how much it's helped me. I know how much I'm happy with my life because I've adopted these things. I've set out goals for myself. So I got to teach it to you. Why would I not? Right? So now... Now I actually want to help you identify that goal, okay? Because I don't want you to be aimless. I don't want you to just use this video as entertainment. No, I want you to actually gain a benefit from watching these videos. These videos are to help you get better and get closer to your goal. If you're watching this for just entertainment, it's pointless because this video, all my videos have a message. Each message that I bring to you, I hope that you can actually put that input it and use it for yourself to get closer to whatever dream you have. That's the goal. That is the goal of my channel. It's to help you. But if you're just watching this as entertainment and you don't take, you know, any any note or any idea of what I talk about, it's pointless because my videos will just be wasting your time. You should be watching my videos actively thinking, how can this help me? And if you got to take notes for it to do that, go ahead, please. Please do that. That's how I've gained a lot of my knowledge. I take notes on stuff. I can't remember everything. No one can. Writing stuff down, it's so important to do. So now for you. Basically, what you got to do to get to this goal, to identify goals, is you got to identify a problem first. Or you got to identify, number one, honestly, what you want to be able to do in life. From there, now you can make a plan on how you actually accomplish it. If there's an issue, let's say your health is really bad. Say, okay, what can I do to fix this? There's things like diet, there's things like sleep, there's things like fitness. Now you say, all right, I have these three things. What do I got to do now? Make a plan for how you actually help all three of these things. First thing could be, all right, I'm going to set a bedtime and I'm going to set a wake up time to ensure that I'm actually going to the bed. I'm going to bed at the same time every single day, right? And that's, that's therefore going to help you with sleep. You could say, all right, my diet plan is going to be this, this, and that. That's going to help you with the diet. And I'm actually working on that myself too. I'll have some videos on that in the next few months because that's kind of like the stage I'm in right now. Honestly, I'm not too proud of my diet, right? And I'm trying to develop as many things as I can. So I'm excited to bring it to you because also that's going to help you realize that you do not need to be perfect. Some people look at me in my videos and I'm like, oh, you know, you, you have like no flaws or something like that. And it's like, no, I'm just like you. I'm just trying to improve myself and you should be trying to improve yourself. My diet is probably worse than yours, honestly. Like it's not good. It's not good. It has like no, 
no restrictions and it has no like like i just eat whatever right so i'm at the stage right now where i'm at zero i'm where you are you might even be better than where i'm at so if i'm able to get a lot of good results within this next coming year then there's no excuse for you not to be able to do the same it's just that i have a plan right now so that's why i'm saying for you you gotta actually make a plan what was my personal plan i hired this guy on a website called fiverr and he basically ran me through all this diet stuff and again i'm gonna bring that to you guys for free of course because that's what i do here on the channel i'm gonna make it all free and i'm gonna tell you guys exactly my diet and what i'm doing and you know the benefits that i get from it and all that but then going into the other thing the other goal that you wanted to have or the benefit was the fitness so then you make a plan all right i'm gonna go to the gym at this time this time this time throughout the week and i'm gonna be doing this this and that and then, okay, how do we limit the resistance to actually doing these things? Number one, you tell your parents or you tell yourself, I'm not buying any sweets at the grocery store. I'm buying all these healthy things. Or you say, all right, I'm, I'm buying a gym membership. That way it makes me go to the gym. Because if I don't go to the gym, I feel like I just wasted all my money, right? Limit the resistance or increase the likelihood that you are going to accomplish these things. Then ultimately, it just comes down to you doing it. That being said, you are going to find your purpose so much quicker. You are going to see meaning in your life. But when you are aimlessly living, when you are just existing, you are not going to see that purpose that you truly have had all along.